As the countdown to the 2018 Ryder Cup gathers pace, Golfing World's Anna Whiteley made the trip to Le Golf National in France to find out just how tough this famous albatross course is. Europeans have fared pretty well here in the past, which should prove to be a good omen for Thomas Bjorn's side. Le Golf National is one of the premier courses in France and home to the 2018 Ryder Cup. So to get the lowdown on what the players will be facing come September, I've caught up with someone who knows success at the course firsthand. Marcel, it's wonderful to see you. Your knowledge of the Albatross course here at Le Golf National is probably better than most after your win in 2012. Just talk us through your memories of that moment because it was such a special one in your career. It was, yeah, especially after uh, not winning for eight years. After South Africa, it was, was very special for me and um, it's very demanding of the Cheetahs golf course. We really have to think your way around this golf course. When you see the rough left and right here, it's uh, here and there, you, you, you're really struggling. And, um, I mean, the last five holes is water involved everywhere. Yeah. And uh, especially when the pressure comes in and uh, we haven't won for eight years, you really have to, uh, you know, um, bite the teeth together and, and believe in yourself and hit some great golf shots. And yeah, it's great memories. It's one of the best golf courses we have in the world, I think. As you say, to have not had a win for eight years, but then to do it here with all the history that comes with this event, it's the oldest national open in all of continental Europe. Just how much more did that bring to the win? I mean, I didn't even think about stuff like that before. You won the yeah. oldest, oldest championship uh, on the mainland Europe, and um, it meant a lot to me. I mean, that little trophy, well, it's a big trophy. Mm -hmm. It's proper, proper heavy as well. Yeah. The replica is, is a little smaller, but still heavy. And it's by, by far the coolest trophy I've ever won. Um, I mean, the whole media afterwards, I mean, you, you only understand what it means actually when, when you've done it afterwards. And, uh, it's, uh, like you say, a very historical um, golf tournament. And uh, like I said, the last four holes there, they're so tricky. And, and, yeah. and then, then you get the trophy in your hands and it's just, just amazing. It's uh, on the 18th green as well, with the water in front. It, uh, mm -hmm. It's different. Just talk us through those last four holes, because they are what everyone talks about as being the biggest challenge here at the Golf Nasty now. But just run us through them. 15, it's mostly a three or four and depends if it's playing firm or not. And uh, most of the time it's sunny, the flag is back right. And you get so much water if you pull your, if you want to play safe, you pull it, there's water on the left. Yeah. If you get a little weak fate, it's in the water as well. So you really have to commit to the shot to, to have a chance to make birdie or if, if, you, if you have four fours on 15, actually you did really You're well. You're happy, yeah. Um, and 16 again. I mean, it depends if you have to make birdies or not. Um, 16, you can bail out left a little bit. But um, if you go right, win is into off the left, you know, the water isn't play again there. 17 is a horrible tee shot. If you bail out right, you, know, you got the rough here, the, the high stuff. If you, if you try to hit it hard and you hit it left, uh, the rough there is getting uh, very high and um, you see so many double bogeys and triple bogeys in that hole. Yeah. That's tricky. So 18 uh, used to be par five. Mm -hmm. That's totally different then. You know, you hit a five or down there, pitching wedge, nine iron, and you make two putts for, for five. But now, you know, it's a par four. You, you take it a little bit more on. You know, if it's if it's firm again, the three would could run down on, on the left in the water as well. So some guys hit driver over the right side now. Yeah. At least if you rip it down there, you have a wedge in. But the rough is there again, and the bunkers. So it's uh, it's very tricky. And then you know have the water all all around the green. When it's firm, you come in with a four iron or five iron. The ball can bounce over the green in the water. So there's a lot of stuff you have to be careful with. And uh, but I love that. It's great. Well, much rather you than us, Marcel. I'll let you hit your second shot. We'll catch up with you. So looking ahead, this is of course the home of the Ryder Cup this year. The layout just lends itself with the amphitheatre holes and it holds 80,000 spectators. Just what kind of an atmosphere do you think this will be here? I mean, I, I can't see any better golf course in Europe to, to host the Ryder Cup. Mm -hmm. um, stadium, atmosphere we have, I mean, the people are always standing on top. They can literally see every golf shot we yeah. hit. And um, I mean, the French people are very emotional as well, which, uh -huh. is, which is good. I think that, that, that might help. Um, to, to get the guys going and um, the golf course is just it's just beautiful to do a Ryder Cup and uh, I think there's a little advantage uh, 
well, it's favoring us because all the guys know the golf course and yeah. you, you need to know this golf course, you know, to, to feel comfortable to shoot four or five under here and um, I can't wait to see it. It's going to be spectacular. And just finally, for anyone who has never played this course, what advice would you give to them? Well, first of all, definitely come and play. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's worth it. And um, you down, down at Versailles, I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful little town, historical town as well. And, um, you know, well, when you get here, bring enough golf balls. <laughs> um, try to play very defensive of the tee box. I think uh, driver's not always necessary. It's not the longest golf course. No. Nope. So um, if you have a favorite... It's the longest golf course for you, Marcel. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, amateurs are allowed to play from the front tees as well. Uh -huh. you no, know, it plays very firm. If you have a three iron or five wood, which, which goes uh, kind of lowish, you know, keep it in the fairway, you know, and you have definitely an enjoyable day. If you hit the driver in the rough, you might not like the golf course that much. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, it's wonderful to hear your memories, Marcel. Thank, Thank you. you so much and best of luck. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Marcel Seen.